finished my second year and probably from what I hear the hardest year of podiatric medical school. We have to take the APMLE part one exam and so what I did was I finished my final exams for second year the end of April and then I took a week off in the beginning of May uh, just a week or so so that I could recuperate, get some sleep, spend time with my family because I was with my family during that time and I was just stuck in a room. So a good friend Russell that Yona and I met on Instagram, she's so helpful. She's an upperclassman. She made a video on how to study for the APMLE part one exam. So we were following that. I got a sketchy, obviously, first aid to make sure I'm touching on different subjects. I'm going to take APM, the APMLE exams. And I'm also going to make sure that I do all of this using the curriculum guide so that we're not missing any of the subjects. All of this, I kind of forgot to be reviewing it. And this was supposed to be my schedule. And this, more notes, more notes that I forgot to review. The flow of the arteries. If you don't continuously look at this photo, how is this gonna make any sense? Page one of 22, okay? And that's without any of my other notes, which I have to transfer up to here. It's only week three, but... So this is the day after I was uh, panicking. <laughs> I don't want to use my laptop for any of that. I did not, in fact, type all of those notes up. What I did do, I went through and highlighted what I think I need to work on, which is obviously a lot it's been a while since I looked at this material. This, this is going to be my farm. The first round was me going through and just writing the notes that I thought was pertinent, which in this situation was kind of all pertinent for me, but I write it, I write it and organize it in a way that makes sense for me, okay? But right now I'm going through again and I'm highlighting. Okay, so this is my second round. I highlight and I talk through it. And I just kind of go through and talk it out as if I'm teaching someone, which I am, teaching myself. I was doing a practice question about EKG. So I was thinking of the PR interval, okay? But my head was processing it as the RS interval. Because I had completely forgotten the order of the alphabet. Yep. Where, where's, where's even the camera? Good morning, it's 10 minutes to my clinical rotations, technically. We have it online. Wow, my sleep schedule is so off. Hi, good morning, it's Friday, and another day of studying. I didn't sleep well or at the right time yesterday. Better to sleep at the same time every day, as we just has shown and preferably wake up at the same time every day as well. <laughs> it's officially 1.20, guys. Just finishing my Instagram post and resharing and reposting and posting the YouTube video. Usually when Yona's helping, I don't take this long. Psych! <laughs> if anyone was wondering how I feed myself, <laughs> I don't. Okay, not not these days because benefits of being home that my mom and my dad cook for me. They don't cook just anything, they cook gourmet meals, I swear. I feel like I have something different every day. This is my view. Can you tell I'm in a child's room? <laughs> okay, so I have a backlog of about 160 questions, so I'm going to spend first part of my day doing plenty of questions. Okay, I didn't do any yesterday, so I need to make up for that. And then we'll see what else I can get done. I added chapstick and everything because it's strange, but it keeps me from chewing on my skin. I chew on my skin when I get nervous. I don't know if any of you are like that, if you have any, have any nervous ticks, I guess, is what you'd call it, but I do that when I'm focused, or not thinking, or super in the flow, who knows. Uh, 
Um, I'm now in my backyard. Again, because I wanted to be outside. This is my first time outside in two weeks, guys. It feels so good because I'm someone who needs to be outside in nature. Fresh air. Back to studying. I think I'm gonna eat now. Guys, you know the hardest part about studying? It's when you get way too excited about a subject and then you end up going on tangent and looking up a bunch of stuff about it because you didn't completely learn it in school. As in you were taught everything, right? But you didn't take the time to actually learn it. So there's issues that come with that and then there are plenty, plenty of other nutrients that they wouldn't be getting or they could have impaired gas I have completed this lovely snack box package. And same with this one. All by myself. Also, this turned out to be 40 pages, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that by tomorrow morning, I will be starting to review this stuff. I'm responsible. What can I say? Okay, y'all. It's 2 a.m. Officially keep forgetting that I'd like to sleep earlier. I just have a few more bullet points I'd like to take some notes on and I'm going to head to bed. It's 3 a.m. COVID even started, I was so much better with my schedule. So subphrenic recesses are located between the diaphragm and above the liver. Contemplating how I'm going to go over the subject I always thought was the hardest for me for some reason, our muscles. It's called pita, which means basically a like, savory scrape. I was eating it with lentils. It was delicious because my mom gives me amazing gourmet meals. So I'm basically done with human anatomy. I'm funny. So the forearms, muscles, they're the exact muscles that took me forever to understand. I left that for 11.30, guys. Gosh, there has to be something I can eat right now. Anything. <laughs> you feel that way? You drink water. Ah, hi guys. It's just me and my my diaper mask. It literally feels like I sit in my room all day doing nothing else. Quarantine problems. Two more weeks, so trying to go hard. I can't handle sitting all the time. Solution has been to create a standing desk. And because I'm not trying to splurge, I, I just create my own. <laughs> like, helps me with focus. So I get in my steps and I'm just walking in place or I just stand. If you thought that I would take you on a journey and just see me studying all the time. You were sorely wrong. <laughs> I feel a little better just because I'm picking up my pace, finally. Being a future podiatrist, I did want to tell you, you are not supposed to be walking in flip-flops. I wanted to finish those questions. I was going to catch up with my parents and now it's getting pretty dark. Now, you know what? I'm going. It's easy to make excuses, but if I don't do this, I'm not going to be as productive. One and a half weeks left. If you haven't seen a face of panic yet, this is it. I know if I plan properly, I can do it. But you guys, I don't know how this, how this always feels like it happens. It's like I, I force myself to overlearn material so I get to this point. Basically, I need to put up some boundaries and only allot myself one hour in the mornings and one hour in the evenings for questions, 50 questions each. And then I have to, have to, have to go through the last LEA document that I have and that'll reinforce everything, I'm sure. And then I have to go through farm. Good luck to us. <laughs> I'm not crying using this dry eye relief. I should make an ad for these. Okay, I'm not even kidding when I say it's important to have brain food. I already started eating this, but basically my mom made this for me. Of course, 
uh, tofu, veggies, and a sauce called pigeon sauce. And it's a plant-based sauce. I believe it's made out of almonds. Pretty delicious. And then these are cauliflowers. making an entire list of all of the lower extremity muscles and the nerves, the arteries, is origin insertion, action, innervation. Although I've done that several times now, I should be an expert at this point. I'm just trying to really nail it in. There's a website I found. So this here is a wonderful master muscle list. It's not the best for everything, of course, but it's it's definitely a good start. At least it gives you, for me, I think it's very important to have a visual, a very good visual of every muscle, even for human anatomy, for general anatomy. But I go to the shoal list and I kind of compare and not going to lie, I'm more likely going to write what's in this versus this, but I kind of cross reference just to make sure nothing's wrong in either or. Studying outside, I miss that, and so going to go back to doing that. And don't worry, I'm not being irresponsible. No one's out here right now. And also, I walk the other way when someone's coming in. I'm one of those weirdos. Studying and applying neurons have come up twice now, and somehow I haven't been getting them right. What the heck is going on? <laughs> it's such a simple concept. Next fact of the day, primary tumors that metastasize to the bone commonly. So it's kidney, breast tissue, thyroid, and lung and prostate. Wow, learning so much. Apes hand, right? How do you remember that? How do you remember that median nerves affected? Well, apes like to mediate, bam. I just like to walk around my backyard here and I study that way. With my laptop like this, as you can see, I converted it into like a little heavy textbook. You guys, I feel like I'm on a roll, except I've been dozing off so many times. Says the person who doesn't have a regular sleep schedule. I just finished crossing off everything that was, that was under four, rated under four here because well, I don't have much time. I have a little over seven days and this is something I wouldn't recommend you all to do at home, kids. And I'm hoping all the questions I did filled in the blanks of stuff that I'm not going to relook at. Okay, I just have T minus six days left, which means a time to panic, officially. So I'm just going to go over a bunch of my micro first tomorrow. I haven't seen the videos in a long time, so I'm just going to go through my huge, sketchy PDF. But. Honestly, I'll put my most focus on the stuff I don't know as much and then go over this thick, thick farm packet, uh, which also shouldn't take me that much time. I'm just going to do it repeatedly every day. And same with my muscle attachments. It's going to be okay. Oh, I still need to do neuroanatomy. Just review again from the past few months of what I've learned. It's fine. Oh, yeah, you can, you can hear the machine. <laughs> oh, it's ready. So I now have about three days left, full three days left of studying. And you know what that means, right? You, you know what that means. Guest appearance by Mr. Coffee. So now let me take you through what it means to be me and truly get information through my head. You're about to see what kind of work it takes for the system. After two ginger snaps and two oatmeal cookies, we've got our dessert. Carrots. That helps with UTIs and bisphosphonates are for osteoporosis. Stunt, stuntin' is a habit, get like me. Ain't never seen a shabby way to get like me. Diary. I've been waking up daily at 12 30 p.m which is great and i sleep regularly at a healthy 4 30 a.m great
great stuff. Uh, the exam is in two days, first of all. I have to finish all of my general anatomy. I need to finish my microbiology. I'm going to ignore LEA for now because I should know LEA pretty well by now. I've been focusing on LEA. I need to get over myself. And I need to do the Prometric practice exams today and tomorrow. 6 p.m. and I made pretty good progress today. I finished all my HA review. Probably gonna look at it one more time for the exam tomorrow. And then I have LEA, so I'm gonna do the origin insertions. And I'm going to go ahead and finish micro after that. Yana likes to study together through Skype with someone, so that's kind of what we do right here. I'm starting to shake, you guys. It's 2.30, the day before the exam. You know what that means. I need to drink more water. Exactly, you're right. But I'm gonna go to bed right now. I just took the exam and Definitely shed some tears here and there. Yeah, this was a rough journey. And I'm just glad it's over with. The past few months was all the times that I needed encouragement, I needed hugs, the tears shed. I mean, it, it's been rough. It's been rough. I personally am not a huge fan of standardized exams. I'm going to go relax.